come up with the spark to get the offense going. Chicago making a switch here. Chicago trails by four. Rose goes in and finished off by Rose. I really love when Rose goes hard like this, guys. I mean, still, even after the injuries, showing no fear. Here's Livingston, and the layup's good off the glass. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And the wide-open shot from Rose. Nailed from three-point land. Rose has got 11 points. The shot comes out. At the end of one, a <laughs> and some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. But taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas, David, thank you. Boy, the unselfishness of Eagle Dollar is really admirable. A forward with excellent vision and a feel for when one of his guys is open. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Who's watching him? Here's Rose. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And it goes on Tremont Green. When Rose is attacking, guys, I mean, the defense has to act. He puts them on their heels. He hits the second from the line. Mark, a big part of your game was rebounding. You controlled the glass so well. What's one thing you would tell young viewers if they wanted to improve the rebound? You know, I'm a little bit out of the norm here, but the biggest thing to me for rebounding is pursuing the ball. Boxing out is important, but pursuing the ball and good timing are the most important elements of rebounding. And that's what I would have players focus on. Pursue the ball. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Warriors. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Here's Rose. Anderson Perichau making his last shot. Perichau comes with the double team. Got a piece of it. And he's able to get it back. They get the rebound. Warriors leading by six. On its way from Curry for two. Rebound by the Bulls. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Back to Noah. And Barnes comes to help. And it's good. Two points. Noah's got his first two points of the night. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Teams deciding to change it up. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, here's Green. That shot off. Great defense that time from Noah. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for Chicago. Trailing by four. The kick out to Boozer. 